Hi, my name is Alex. I'm the incorporation specialist at Bridges. In many years, offshore jurisdiction has always been existed, but people are kind of more hesitated to discuss or even ask for it publicly. I'll be glad to share some of the advice from my previous experience. In this video, I will also talk about how and why my clients opt to set up an offshore business and how people are balancing their pros and cons when deciding which jurisdiction to go for. Let's get started. It depends on what kind of business that you go for. If you set up a company like an SPV, you can consider about BVA company. If you're practicing some normal trading consulting, you can think of using a Seashells LLC or like some of our clients that specialize in the shipping industry, they will be using a Marshall Island company. And ultimately, if you will be doing um, an IPO or going listed, you can consider about Cayman Island entity that could give you a holding structure. To select the right and most accurate jurisdictions, we will suggest you to sit down with a professional that can give you the in-depth advice on giving the right company structure. Firstly, and most importantly, with the history of the offshore jurisdiction, it does not define any profit tax return, which means it can keep an absence or minimum level of taxations. Secondly, as it is not required to file any profit tax return, which means it's not required to get the accounting reports for auditing procedure, which makes our client more cost effective and easier to manage the maintenance part, as long as the regulatory environment or reputation standing are not very important for them. Last but not least, offshore jurisdiction will be easier to achieve an anonymity and privacy protection, which makes the whole registration not open for public, which means it can keep the business details for the company owners to be more confidential. In general, the function between a BVI company or Seashells company are very identical, as it is mainly used as an SBV or holding entity. There are some differentiating factors that I'll be sharing to you in the followings. First, there will be political differences. Seychelles is an independent country, they have their own law, while BVI is under the British common law. If you intend to make any contracts or agreements, which means you need to pay extra attention on this. There is also about share capital differences. BVI is having a standard share capital about 50,000 US dollars for 50,000 shares. If you go about 50,000 US dollars, there will be extra charge on this, while Seychelles have actually a flexible terms on this, which means there's no maximum limits at all. If you intend to issue let's say a million thousand of shares, you need to think about that carefully. Of course, we will suggest you to sit down with a professional to give them a full picture of what you intend to do so that they can give you the full and most professional advice on this. We have heard there are some clients that are experiencing some problems or issues when they're opening a corporate bank account for those offshore company. Actually, there are some different options in the market that is available, like some immersion solutions called currency or need that could provide you with the corporate bank account for those offshore company. They actually provide you with an online account or mobile app for you to arrange the payment swiftly. Actually, the lighter it is for the setup procedure compared to those traditional bank account opening. And more importantly, there's no account opening fee. One more thing to highlight, they do not require any physical presence in Hong Kong for opening the accounts, which is more convenient for those clients or offshore or overseas entrepreneurs. Feel free to come to us if you want to know a little bit more anytime. Yes, it is possible. If actually, if your whole Hong Kong operation will be take place outside of Hong Kong, which means your profits is derived and or arising outside of Hong Kong. Your profits could be claimed as an offshore tax exemption with the IRD, which means actually once your approval can be granted from the IRD, your profit will not be tax assessed with the agreed period of time from the IRD. On the other hand, the date of applying for the offshore status will be the same day on receiving the profit tax return, which will be 18 months later of the incorporation day. If you'd like to know a little bit more, please come to us. Our accounting and audit arrangement team will be assisting you.
I hope you have walked out of the maze and understood a little bit more of the offshore jurisdiction from my video. Feel free to let me know once you have any inquiry in the video's comment box. I'll be more than happy to assist you further. See you next time. We were looking for a company that could uh, provide a one-stop solution from company uh, formation, corporate secretary, all the way to the end. Um, they are very helpful on uh, advice uh, point of view also. It's been definitely a very good experience all around and I thank them.